Today, we're gonna to talk about the power of delayed gratification. You see, almost everything in life that's worth having requires an inordinate amount of work without immediate results, or in many cases, even feedback. And this is a concept that rings true in every area of life, not just in workouts, not just in professional development, not even just when you invest and you have to wait for compound interest and all that stuff to hockey stick over the years. And something I've realized over the years is it just requires a ton of patience and inordinate amount of work, often on basic things that aren't always sexy and patience if you wanna make incredible progress in any area of your life. And this becomes more and more difficult because in today's world, in today's society, Society, everything is predicated on immediate gratification. We have more food available at the touch of a button on our phone. We can see how quickly that burrito is getting made and how quickly it gets delivered to our house. You can hop on your phone and in five seconds, you can have any bit of information in the world. You can go on chat GPT and have your data analyzed in seven seconds go on any social media website and everything is basically soft core porn these days, including half of the stuff that's in the fitness industry. It's, it's wild, right? And so people really struggle to be able to get the results that they're looking for in any area of their life, in part based on the environment, the way that we have technology currently set up, but also due to a lack of perspective and a lack of patience in being able to focus on the right things. And this is such an important concept to understand because there's so much information that is out there available at our fingertips for easy consumption, where people gain a lot of surface level knowledge on many different things. But what often lacks is patience, is wisdom, and consistency. And in terms of wisdom, I mean the ability to understand what's actually important and to be able to focus on what is important right now. And so what we need to do is we need to be able to focus on taking action when things are imperfect, when they are difficult, rather than waiting for the perfect time, waiting until we have all the answers or waiting for things to be less busy. Because if we wait for better times, if we wait for things to be less busy, we often incorrectly assume that, you know what, we're gonna be in control and things are actually gonna get less busy. And that's very rarely the case. I don't know about you, but it seems like every week goes by a little bit faster. Every year, definitely definitely goes by a little bit faster. Every year, I have more responsibilities. I have more on my plate, and frankly, probably a little bit less energy to take care of it. That is the nature of getting older day by day and year by year. So what we have to do is we have to be able to take action on things regardless of circumstances, because the habits and the skills that we build when life is hard, when life is busy, are much easier to be maintained because we will inevitably face hard times and be busy again. And so let's dig into this idea of delayed gratification a little bit more. Delayed gratification is being able to take massive action towards a specific goal while understanding that you are not going to have immediate feedback or immediate results on said goal. Relationship example. I remember when I met my wife when I was 18, quite literally the first weekend of college. Now, like most red-blooded males at 18 years old in college, Finding my wife was not exactly the goal that I had in mind when my buddies and I, after an afternoon of day drinking, stumbled upon a couple very beautiful women. We wanted to, you know, get hopped up, have a good time, and just see what would happen from there. And you know what? That's not what happened. Did we have a good time? Did we drink? Did we chat? Of course, we probably wouldn't be married at this point. You know, 17 years later, wouldn't have a child, <laughs> wouldn't have moved all the way across the U.S. multiple times. But here's what happened, right? Like, she was hard to get. Did we hang out and have a good time? Like, yeah but she wasn't easy in any way. I had to work. I had to hustle just to get that first date and the second and the third. I mean, she made me work for her. And to this day, because I had to delay gratification, had to take time and actually build a relationship. It wasn't Tinder, it wasn't Bubble, it wasn't any of that stuff that's out now. We built such a deeper relationship and a bond that was so much better than the things that you see now. And so despite my 18 year old brain wanting immediate gratification and just wanting to probably party and chase tail, well, guess what? Delaying that gratification led to an incredible relationship and it's helped build an incredible life. And that's just one example. Now, the same thing happened with my online coaching business. I started my online coaching business, 22, 23 years old. And at this point, I mean, this was way before online coaching, any of that stuff is even popular. I was just writing about, you know, struggles that my clients had thinking that somebody else might read it because you know what, the way that I learned was reading information on blogs, on websites online. And as I got more serious in the business, it wasn't until my mentor at the time, John Goodman of a personal trainer development center, now arguably the biggest education platform for coaches in the online space said, Eric, if you want to grow your business via writing, you have to begin treating writing like it's a full-time job. And so he recommended a number of different books on writing bird by bird, writing well, a few others I'll have to uh, add maybe in the show notes below. And I studied these books and 
pair his recommendations, I made writing my primary focus each and every single morning at like 3.30 in the morning before I went and trained clients at 5 or 6 a.m. And so I did this not just for days, not just for weeks, but for months of reading books, on writing, on writing, on writing articles, on writing blogs, on submitting different articles to different places, trying to build the initial foundations of my business. And even then, I got rejected from T Nation with my first three articles. And now, if we fast forward today, especially if you've been around here for a while or, or paid attention to my work, I've been published over 300 times in places like T Nation, in bodybuilding.com, in CNN, in Huffington Post, in Ask Men, in Men's Health, in all these different areas, and routinely make three to four figure amounts simply for writing an article and filming some videos on workouts, right? And now none of this would be possible though, if I gave up right away. If I said, oh, I'm not any good at this, I got rejected once, I'm never gonna come back. No, I mean, it literally took months of rejection and years of skill development, and frankly, investing in mentors like John Goodman, and then later in John Romanello, New York Times bestselling author, to become a good enough writer where this became the foundational piece of building my business at the time, right? And so, for example, not to make this all about business, but I see so many coaches who wanna jump into the online space, they throw a couple of TikTok videos or reels together, and they're like, how come I'm not building a business? Because you haven't done the work for long enough and you don't provide enough value yet. We have to consider in these different areas that the ability to delay gratification is the key to being able to succeed. You know, think about the same thing when it comes to finance, right? Like when I get that paycheck, what do I want to do? Like, yeah, I want to buy stuff like everybody else. But we separate our finances. We send different money into different pockets. We have X, Y, and Z amount of money going into a 401k, X, Y, and Z amount of money that goes directly into a long-term savings account, X, Y, and Z amount of money that goes into an investment account. And by delaying the gratification of just wanting to spend that money right away, building a great financial nest egg for my family, right? And now fitness is the same exact way. You know, when I first got involved in exercise and fitness, I would just consume all the information that I could. Back in the day, it was muscle magazines. I weighed quite Quite honestly, grab all these different muscle magazines. I would rip off the articles. I would rip out the different nutrition plans. And I had this nasty ass folder with all of this random stuff put together. And so again, kind of like people now will just scan through and get all these tips and ideas on a workout. I just had all these different ideas. And while it was great from a baseline education component, I spun my wheels until I had a coach, until I had somebody who was able to highlight, Eric, these are the things you need to focus on. This is the long-term game you need to play. And you just have to stay consistent with it. Like until I got that perspective and started knowing the right things to apply in the right amounts and at the right time, I was simply just spinning my wheels in space, hoping for immediate gratification, thinking that if I did 17 variations of bicep curls, I would get great biceps. It still hasn't happened, <laughs> right? No, so the reality is like, Across the board, delayed gratification is the key to accomplishing everything that we truly want. And now a lot of people truly do have all the tools that they need in order to accomplish their goals. But what's often lacking is the perspective and it's the patience of being able to make it happen. It's because most people are willing to make the short-term sacrifices that they need in order to get the long-term gain that they want. A quick example I see in the fitness space all the time is people want to be able to lose muscle and build fat, but they're scared to commit to either one of those goals full on because as soon as they start to get lean, then they feel small and then they try to bulk up again. Or it could be the person who's gotten lean and now they want to build muscle. But as soon as they start to gain any body fat, even if it's not even body fat, they're just gaining scale weight or a little bit of water retention. They freak out and go right back to a calorie deficit, and slowly demolish their metabolic function. They never actually change their body. And so the key to success is being able to understand the difference of what we really want to accomplish and understanding that there are going to be bumps along the way. And when we understand that they're going to be bumps along the way and we have the longer time horizon for what it's actually going to take to accomplish the things that we want, then we have the freedom to lean into the action steps that are going to lead to the life-changing results that we are looking for. And so the name of the game is delaying gratification. It's the ability to stay focused and control your impulses to go with what you want to experience right away for what you want to experience most. And when you can start staying focused on a specific goal for a long period of time, when you can play the long game and accept that there will always be immediate wins, or there won't always be immediate wins in the search for longer life-changing ones, then you have the perspective needed to succeed, whether it's physically, personally, financially, in any realm. The only question that remains is, will you play the long game and reap the rewards, or will you fall prey to the need for immediate gratification? Hey, thank you so much for listening. And if you got value directly from this, I do not do any external marketing here. So if you could, please share this with a friend, share this on social media and tag at Bach Performance. And if you got value directly from this, drop us a five-star review or a comment if you were watching on YouTube. Catch you on the next one. Hey, it's Eric here again. Now, there are three ways that I can help you look great naked. Number one, if you want to grab a free copy of the Look Great Naked Protocol to help you lose body fat without counting calories, then go to bachperformance.com backslash free training. 
Number two, if you're a busy guy looking to build muscle, then I recommend checking out our Minimalist Muscle Blitz, which has helped over 1,000 men build muscle without living in the gym. Just go to minimalistmuscleblitz.com. The link will also be available in the show notes. Or number three, and last, if you want to work with me directly and get the best results possible, apply at bachperformance.com backslash coaching to look great naked without living in the gym. Until next time, my friend. Thank you.